everyone, it's Marion from the New York City Organization of Public Service Retirees. Many of you have asked us how to create an account on our new payment platform to help make it easier to make donations. So I want to show you how to do that now because it is pretty easy. All you'd have to do is go to our website, click Donate Now, and it'll open up the, the uh, payment platform. And then you'd put your information, your logon information in, and it'll automatically populate all of your information. You can see all the donations that you've made to the organization right there. And if there's any um, issues, you know, address it through the platform. So let's get right to it. So as you can see, this is our website. And when you get here, you want to click this donate now button. And it'll take you directly to the payment platform. Like that. So you can set this up that you want to donate once or donate monthly and uh, also manage that through the portal. So let's just say you wanted to donate monthly and you wanted to donate $25 and you wanted to donate it, let's say, in the memory of someone. So I'll put my mom's name and continue. And then here, you're just going to fill in your own information. And then you put your phone number in and you could designate it as a mobile or a home number. And then it'll ask you for your address. Check off that you're retired or you're not retired. Enter the agency that you uh, retired from. So I typed in the first letter F for FDNY, and then there's EMS. The year that you retired. And then your union. And I'm DC 37, local 2507. And then you can check off, yes, I would like to receive communications from us. And the second one is that you, want, uh, by providing your phone number, you agree that we can message you, like text message you. And then just confirm the phone number that's there is your number. And then click next. So the next thing that'll come up is a pay with card. And it'll you can choose to do whether by credit card or ACH is like a Zelle payment. And then you would put this information in right there. So the next screen that pops up is the third window and it asks you your payment details. If you wanna pay by credit card or if you wanna pay by ACH, which is just like a Zelle payment. Then you can check off that you wanna make an additional donation to cover the online processing fees so that the entire contribution um, goes to the organization. So we're not paying for those credit card fees. And then you can click on it. Now, if you get a credit card here that pops up like this one does, that means that that is one that is saved in your Google Pay or your Apple Pay. So that will come up. Um, you don't have to do that. You can actually choose to pay it with another card. You see here, pay with card. And then you can click that and enter that into whatever you want. You would just then have to put in your credit card number and uh, and then your payment information. Now, if you don't want to do it by credit card, but you want to pay by ACH, it'll ask you, or it'll auto-populate your name, the checking account, whether you want it to come from checking or savings, and then you have to put in the bank account folder's email and then your bank account number and your routing number. And then it'll it'll automatically create, at that point, a account for you. So as you can see right now, it's processing my credit card order for my recurring donation. And here it'll tell me that my donation was successful. Now, if you go back it says, thank you, a receipt was sent to the following email address. 
Now, if you go back to the organization's website and you go to Donate Now, you will see up here in the right-hand corner, it says Login. So if you click that, it'll ask you for your login name and password. Now, you didn't sign up for any uh, login password in that donation, but what you can do is if this is your first time donating, you can actually click that to start. And then come down here, it'll say forgot your password, and we're going to put our contact in here. And says recover account. And now it gives me a message that the email that I submitted, sent it sent me an email, and if I don't receive it, I should... <laughs> Uh, do it again. So here, I'm going to go to my email. So here's the email that the system sent me, and it's telling me that I've requested a login for my account. Gives you a link, and just click it. And it'll say, account help, set login name and password. So it says my name. Now you have to put in a login name and you're going to create one here. Once you do that, it'll automatically sign you in and then you come to your dashboard where you will see, like in this account that we just created, how many donations you've made. So here we made $1.34 today, put in a dollar donation, covered the, the transaction fees of 34 cents and put that in. So I made this video just to show you how easy it is to do, but make sure that when you go ahead and do yours, that you are put in all the accurate information. And then you can log back in to this portal and see everything that you need to. It'll be able to tell you, you can change your passwords, you can manage your email subscriptions, show all upcoming events or things that we put in here, keep your files in here. So it's really a nice way of being able to keep all of your data in one place. And that way, any time that you want to make a donation or adjust a donation to the, to the organization, you can do so. So now if we go back into the portal, you can see that we scheduled a recurring donation of a $1 donation scheduled monthly, and it's for a dollar Schedule the next one for January 1, because today is December 1. They'll go monthly on the 1st. Now, if I click Manage, I can adjust my donation. I can change the amount. I can change the month to monthly, quarterly, or annually. And I can change the date in which to do it. I can also change the payment method and then click save. And here it will show me that the payment uh, uh, source that I chose to use at the time. So you can definitely keep your donations in your control this way. And this was another reason why we chose to do this. Also, because we do have reporting that we have to do, and it also helps our bookkeeper not have to manually enter. So just so you know, by the end of December, we are going to close Zelle and Venmo um, donations. We want you to do everything through here. It helps us tremendously and saves us money to do this. So if you see ACH, that's like making a Zelle or Venmo payment, and you can also go by credit card. Yes, we are still accepting paper checks for those people that refuse to use this process, but we are really hoping that more people would take advantage of this just because it saves us time and saves us money. Every time someone sends us a check, we have to go to the post office. The bookkeeper has to be able to open up all of these millions of envelopes, goes through them, takes out the checks, runs them through a deposit system, and then he sends us all the cards and letters that you send. So please, if you can, try this. This is super easy, and we appreciate it, and it helps keep our costs down to keep fighting for you. Hope that helps all of you to create an account into our portal. Have a great day, everyone, and thank you for supporting this fight in protecting your health care.